And Paul says, this is going to get terrible because this is going to be in the church. People are going to be lovers of self, not lovers of God. They're going to love themselves, be arrogant, proud, and love money, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, which is the mark of a spirit-filled person as he just thanks God for everything in Christ Jesus. But they're going to become ungrateful, unholy, they're not going to care about holiness. Let me just say something about that. Okay. When I grew up, we talked a lot about purity and holiness. And lately, uh, there's been a new thing happening, which I, there's part of it that I love. Um, and I feel like I'm part of the one that instigated some of this, where I would look at the church and go, man, there's starving people out in the world. There's people with not, no, no clean drinking water. There's, there's girls that are in little children, little boys who are being sold into slavery as sex slaves. We got to get to them. We got to get water to them. We got to get food to them. We got to rescue them from all these places. And, and, and I was just trying to awaken a church. And I saw this younger generation that had this faith and said, I'll jump on a plane right now. I'll jump on a plane right now. I'll risk my life to rescue these kids. I'll risk my life. I'll give everything I have. And I love it. I go, man, that's a great, great passion. I see this fire and I see this faith. But that same generation, I also see that they've walked away from holiness. And we're willing to go and take steps of faith. But are we willing to keep our bodies pure? And our minds pure? Are we still concerned about being morally pure in the eyes of God? You're going to be heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Again, how many times are we seeing it now, even in the church, where we're trying to draw people into the church through pleasure? Come on, if you, if you follow God, he'll, 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 he'll make you rich. He'll get everyone healthy. You'll have your family back. Don't you want God? And, and it's all about you, and it's all about pleasure. And, and they're like, okay, let me try that. If that's going to restore my marriage, if that's going to make my kids love me, if that's going to take away my sickness, if that's going to help me get a job, if that's going to make me rich. And you've got this gospel being preached out there saying, if you follow Jesus, you will get this. Rather than, no, if you follow Jesus, you'll get Jesus. And that's, that, that's enough. That's enough. He'll be your shepherd and you, you won't even want. It'll be like your cup is overflowing. And Are you personally deeply in love with Jesus right now? Are you secure, strong, courageous? Going, God, I, I love you. I see where this world is going. I'm not going with it. I'll, I'll, I'll go against the flow because I love you. I adore him and I'll say whatever I need to say because he tells Timothy, look, in the last days, a time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they'll accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you... Always be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Where he goes, Timothy, there's going to be a time when no one puts up with this, but you, as for you, let them go. They're going to go, and, and, and they're going to just find a teacher to tell them what they want to hear. Why? Because they're a lover of pleasure. If they want to get divorced, they'll find someone with a PhD to tell them it's okay to divorce. If they want to have sex outside of marriage, you'll find someone with a PhD to explain to them, oh, no, no, this is okay. If they want to be greedy and spend all the money on themselves and neglect this mission to reach the unreached around the world, they'll find someone with a PhD to explain to them why it's okay for us to just sit and bask in all of his blessings. We'll just find someone to tell us whatever we want to hear. You want to abort your child? You want to marry someone of the same sex? I'll, I'll find you a teacher, Christian, 
PhD? They'll tell you it's fine. You want to stop believing in hell? I'll find you someone. The PhD will tell you that. You want to just believe that there's no punishment, that God's a God of love and only love, and there's no wrath, there's no judgment to come? There's plenty of books about that. What, what do you want to believe? What's your pleasure? What, what would you like? I'll find you a teacher to give you that. But Paul tells Timothy, don't you be one of those guys. You know what this book says. You preach it. You lay it out there. Now's the time to stay the course. Now this time is to stay strong because the time's coming. People are going to be lovers of themselves, lovers of pleasure, not lovers of God. 